All right, so I want to show a 3D UI that I've been working on. And this has been a, a project spawned from another game I'm working on, kind of in secret right now. Um, but my other co-developer and I wanted to have a 3D interface. And there are a couple of modules out there that'll do this, but not to the degree that we wanted. Uh, there were some things we wanted, specifically we wanted to render it in a viewport frame. And we wanted to be able to control it similar to other UI elements. Um, so in particular, I have uh, four aspects of that where we've got an anchor point, we have the scaled position, the offset position, and the size scale. Now the reason there's a size scale, not one of those U-dime two things, or however you say it, um, is because it's a model. So you don't necessarily want to stretch it or skew it in any way. So instead, we just have a, a scale where it uh, defines a, basically a percentage of how big it is on the screen in order to fill the screen, and it's based on the size of the model. So right now I have it at 0.5, so 50% fill. But if I put it to one, you'd see it would fill up the uh, whole screen there. So I guess a fit is a better word than fill. A fill would uh, stretch it out more probably. And we can go over that too. We could, you know, make it massive if we want. We can make it really small. Uh, so full flexibility there. Of course, these values could be animated and changed and stuff on the fly as well. Um, other things are like normal. So we have position. So if I set uh, 0.25, it's going to be over there. 0.75 over there. 0.5 in the middle. Now, if I want to anchor it in the bottom left, for instance, uh, I can set the anchor points to. So I can set the anchor point to a 0, 1, and then change the position uh, like so. And then I can offset it a bit too as well. So now it's uh, locked down in the bottom uh, left of the screen. So similarly, you know, even especially for something that looks like this, I probably want it in the bottom center. So if I wanted to do that, again, really simple, set the anchor point on X to 0.5 and the position 2.5 and uh, through the offset. So now I have something in the middle. And again, you can see it's not colliding with anything in the world because it's on its own UI frame. And uh, I think that's about it. Again, these values can be uh, changed and animated if we wanted to. Uh, so we could add some little camera shake to it if we wanted to, for instance. Um, and then the last step that's really needed is user interaction. So being able to capture uh, input, you know, clicks and things of that nature. Um, otherwise, it, uh, it's really straightforward to use. Uh, this looks a little messy because it's just uh, code to test it. But if you look at the underlying API, we have a, a UI 3D module and we just instantiate a new uh, uh, instance of it and we just pass it a model and a constant offset if we want to. So for instance this model I, I needed it to be rotated on the x-axis 90 degrees uh, in order for it to face the camera properly so it just has that offset right there. And then we have set scale, set position, set anchor, set visible, and there's also the destroy method and these all have git uh, methods as well. So yeah it's really simple to use. Again it looks kind of messy here just because I've got a bunch of code to test it, you know, listening for changes and whatnot here, um, but really easy to use. I'm pretty happy with it so far. It performs well. It uh, only updates when it's, uh, in the technical term we use is dirty, so when, it, when it's uh, in a position where it needs to be updated, it's not going to constantly render on screen if it, if it doesn't actually need to be. Uh, so pretty satisfied with where it is so far, but a little bit more work to do still.